for our final clip on short run cost, let's return to where we ended up our second one. We're here now with the um, uh, set of curves for the, uh, cost curves for this single firm at a competitive market, but the price has dropped to $45. And what we concluded at the end of the last session was that the best level of operations for this company is here at seven items because that's where price or we call it in this case marginal revenue where price marginal revenue equals marginal cost that's still going to be the best place for them to operate so that's right here at about seven items but if you look really closely or if you look at your excel street sheet handout you'll see that uh, our average revenue this forty five dollars per item is less than the average total cost so we're making a loss and now the question is if we're in the short run, if we know we have some fixed costs that we're going to have to pay in any case for the rest of the year, should we shut down our operations entirely or should we keep limping along to the rest of the year and hope the price goes back up or hope that we can renegotiate a cheaper lease or something next year? Well, here's the way to look at it. If you look at your table uh, on the front of the Excel spreadsheet sheet handout, uh, I'll point out where these numbers come from. Remember, let me go back quickly, remember that we've decided that uh, operating level of 7 is still the best place for this company to be. If you read on the table on the front of the Excel spreadsheet handout, if you read on the table at 7, uh, at a level of 7, the average variable costs are $39 and the average fixed cost is $9 for a total of 48 roughly. Now, if the market price is 45, we can't cover all those. But what we can do is we can cover all of the variable costs, all the raw materials, the cost of the workers, the shipping and stuff. We can cover all of the variable costs for making seven items. And we can contribute at least $6 to the total $9 average fixed cost we need to do. Now, what would happen if we just shut down and said, okay, we're just not, we're losing money, we're just not going to operate anymore for the rest of the year. Well, we would still have those fixed costs we'd have to cover, and we wouldn't be contributing at least though that six bucks to it. So in this case, it actually makes sense to keep operating in the short run. We'll cover our variable costs, that's good. And in addition, uh, after we covered our variable cost, our price of $45 will let us capture another $6 that can at least go towards fixed cost and help us so soften the blow of having to make that payment. Now if, on the other hand, our price and cost were such that the price couldn't even cover the variable cost, then the recommendation is to shut down. If you can't even cover the raw materials, the cost of making the goods, then there's no way you're going to be able to contribute to fixed costs and if anything you might lose more money. So if you got to a point where the price, the $45 price, uh, or whatever the price is, if that price was such that it could not cover the variable cost, then we would say we ought to shut down our operations. Here's one final sort of thing to consider. Let me go back two graphs to show this to you. This is back when we were had a price of 60 bucks. If you notice, each time the price changes up or down, there's a new level of output for the firm. If this blue line were to go up, I can't make it go up in this picture, but if it, you imagine it going up, then it would cross marginal cost at some place to the right. And so the amount of the item that amount of items that this company would make would increase. However, if the blue line goes down, as we saw in this example, then the uh, level of output decreases to 7. Remember it was between 8 and 9, now it's down to 7. So what we're finding is that as price goes up and down, the level of output for this single firm is um, uh, changes left to right, more or less. What does that sound like? Well, to, to uh, keep the suspense from, from getting too much to, for us, what that is, is that this marginal cost line right here is beginning to look like a supply curve. As price goes up and hits this supply or marginal cost curve at different points, it shows an increase that this company is willing to make 
um, and as price goes down, the company is going to make fewer items. So this segment of the marginal cost curve right in here, actually all the way down to here, this long segment here, represents the supply curve for the firm, this single firm. Now why does it stop here? Well, here is where if the price actually fell this low then and got below it, like down here, now if the price line, the blue price line, if it was down here, it would be below average variable cost. And you'll recall just a minute ago I said if the price couldn't even cover average variable cost, you ought to shut down. So this uh, individual firm would be willing at least to operate for the rest of the short run as long as the price didn't fall below this magenta line. So this supply curve thing starts here and goes up this way. Okay, that concludes our discussion about short run costs. I encourage you to look through the graphs, look at the numbers, make sure you understand where they came from. And then I believe it's next week we'll be looking a little bit more closely at long run behavior in, uh, for competitive firms.